Good morning guys, so today I wanted to kind of do a little garden walkthrough with you guys um, of my backyard garden. Things are still in bloom, um, so I wanted to take this opportunity to kind of show you guys around a little bit because we do have some really beautiful caladiums in bloom and I don't want to miss out on showing you guys these. Um, so I have a very narrow flower bed. Um, which is kind of like a L shape, so it kind of goes all around that way. I kind of purposely wanted it narrow so that we we have you know, like a more neat and tidy space. Um, I don't want the flower beds kind of intruding onto the grass area. Ultimately, my son and our dog likes to run around here and the last thing I want is for them to be like running into the plants and stuff so so I'll start over here um, for those of you wondering I am in a zone 7b I believe um, as far as growing hardiness zones so that will give you an idea of the type of plants that I grow here. I only grow perennials in these flower beds. Annuals are just not my thing because I don't know, I just feel like it's such a waste to have plants that only are there for one season. So, so the first thing here actually is um, some of my succulents. So they are um, simple vibrants. They grow actually really nicely out here. Um, they overwinter really nicely. And then over here, I have one of my caladium, not caladium, oops, did I say caladium? I mean alliums. <laughs> alliums. Um, that's what I meant earlier, too, when I said there's some beautiful caladiums. No, I meant alliums. I love alliums. I love growing them. They grow really well for me here. So this is an allium serendipity. This one is not in bloom yet. This one usually comes into bloom in the middle of summer, like... July-ish time frame so um, the foliage is just beautiful though like I if you guys don't like alliums because the foliage it's not pleasing to look at which is the case with a lot of alliums this is a really good one to have and the blooms are beautiful they're like purple globes um, very similar to the ones I'm going to show you next this next to it is something new I added this spring um, this is actually a um, a scotch bloom or something like that. I'll, I'll put the scientific name if I can remember what it is. I believe this is an invasive in a lot of areas. So um, I have this in my flower bed. I don't have it grown in the open. So that's that. It adds a little bit of texture and structure. So I like that. Now this portion here is what I'm really, really proud of. These are clay. I keep seeing Caladium Allium, Giant, uh, Crystal, Crystify, I'll put the name on the screen. I saw these at um, a local garden here, um, I believe it's called, uh, I believe I saw these at Westbury Gardens and they were just beautiful. I fell in love with them and they are just gorgeous. They have this metallic purple bloom. And there's still more to bloom, so they are gorgeous. Look how large these globes are. So I planted quite a few of them here, and they're just coming into um, bloom now. And there's more. I mean, just absolutely gorgeous. I love these, but like I mentioned about alliums, you can see the foliage is kind of unsightly. Um, so if you're not into this, definitely go for something like that because even without the blooms, it looks beautiful. And I have a lot of alliums that are now coming into bloom. I have these ones here are, that are going to be beautiful once they open up. I don't remember the name of these and I have a few different varieties so until they open up, I'm, it's hard for me to tell what they are. I planted all of these bulbs last fall so these are really tall actually i think these are my favorite ones and then i have over here this is a clearance plant that i got last winter 
This is a Dwarf Rose of Sharon. This is what it looks like. So this one um, comes into bloom, I believe, summer. Yeah, summer. So it came into foliage recently, I think like last month. So I actually got this on clearance for $4. So there's that. Next to them, I have more of these alleyums. <laughs> As you can tell, I freaking love them. It's like, geez, look how big this one is. And then I have these little guys that are just absolutely gorgeous. I'm like blocking. Look at them. I'll put the name on the screen because I don't remember <laughs> which kind this is. So this is a shorter kind and it's so precious. Look at that. And I just have them kind of sprinkled around everywhere. So this, like these separate like areas, I just have bulbs planted and they, I have, um, in early spring I had daffodils and crocus and um, snowdrops. So once that's done in early spring, these come into bloom during late spring, early summer. So it works out. I didn't plan it like that, but it worked out. Over well, here I have one of my Russian sage plants. This one is so hardy like it is seriously <laughs> one of the most hardy plants and i actually have this plant planted here before we did our backyard and for sure i thought i lost it but it actually came back last year and now it's back again and it's it's stunning it's a beautiful plant so here's more alliums and these i am just so excited for these to come into bloom i think i know what these are i'll put a picture on the screen of what they will look like and they're adorable so these are taller and then i have the the giant purple ones here and then i also have some of the white adorable ones sprinkled in the back there okay and then over here i have another allium serendipity so once these come into bloom it'll be like purple again i i seem to have a theme i love purple in my garden because there are more purple sorry there's a plane flying over there are more purple these are purple pin cushions so these are my pin cushion plants they're absolutely gorgeous oh i have three plants here um all with different uh sizes <laughs> Some came back stronger than others. That one in the middle there, I moved, so I can't blame it for not really being as large as the other one, but you can see it's also blooming. But let me just show you guys how gorgeous these blooms are. And this is my third season with them, so they're absolutely beautiful. Is it third or second? I don't remember. I believe it's third. I could be wrong. It could be second. What? But they're gorgeous. In the back there, I have some candy tuff. Um, they were in full bloom um, early, early spring. So they're actually on their way out now. Um, but they make beautiful ground cover. You can see how gorgeous they are. Okay. Let me make my way through here. So let me just talk about this tree here. This is our crepe myrtle. Um, it actually didn't bloom this year. It bloomed last year. This year it just kind of leafed out and it didn't bloom. I'm actually not sure if it's gonna bloom after it leaves out. I'm not, I'm not sure. I don't remember what happened last year. Maybe some of you guys can tell me, but it's beautiful. Um, I love the multi-branch. So if you guys can see. Okay, and then I underplanted this tree with some bulbs here, you can see. I think in some of my earlier videos, you guys might have caught some of the crocuses that bloomed here. So these are all early spring bulbs that I planted around the tree, so they're on their way out. So it's just the foliage. I'm letting the foliage kind of brown on its own so that it can um, help the bulb store some energy for next season. Okay, and then over here I have my Avens or Geoms, I believe it's also called. This one isn't, if this one bloomed earlier and the bloom is gone, I think some animal took it. 
and then this one is in bloom so I can show you guys how beautiful these blooms are if you guys have never seen Geons or Avens they are absolutely they look like little dried roses it's just so beautiful over here next to the candy tops and next to my huge French Pussy Willow I have a is this a azalea or a rhododendron? I believe this might be a rhododendron. Depending on how many, um, what are these called? Stamens? So I believe five is azalea and ten is rhododendron. Or the other way around. <laughs> I could be totally wrong. But yeah, it's beautiful. Look at it. The color is just such a nice pop of color there. And then next to that, I have a gigantic French Pussy Willow. You guys might not even recognize this plant when it's leafed out like this, but during winter or early, early spring, you know that um, this is the plant with those little fuzzy blooms. I'll have a picture up here if I could find a picture of it, but you guys will recognize it. Um, it's huge. I need to trim this. Or prune this back a little because you can see it's kind of getting in the way of my other plant here. This is an azalea, so let me see how many this has. Uh, these blooms are kind of past their prime, so it's kind of hard to tell. I think these are five. So azalea has five, over dungeon has ten. Yeah, I think that might be it. Anyways, this is a gorgeous pink color, so it's really nice. Yeah. And then over here I have some, um, what are those called? Salvias. Um, honestly, I don't know how they're doing. They, this one looks better than this one. This is the pink one, this is the blue one. They have proper names. That's Pink Dawn. This is Salvia. Nemorosa, yeah. And then over here I have some sea drift. What are the tags? I had tags here. So they are similar to what I had in the pots in the front of the garden. So they're beautiful, but they tend to lean. Um, I don't know why. Yeah, sea drift, armeria. Um, so I don't know. I might put them in the pot instead. As you can see, they're leaning. And then my pink uh, salvia lost a lot of its blooms. So I don't know, I gotta figure this out. I don't know if I need to work more. Anyways. So over here I have some more bulbs. I believe these were all daffodils. So I'm just letting the leaves uh, die off on its own here. Here I have a larger azalea. This one is done blooming, so it's just leafing. It's leafing out now. Just beautiful chartreuse colored leaves. This is my largest azalea. More bulbs. These are all daffodils bulbs, I believe. Yeah. I have some double daffodils, which are just beautiful. Um, this is another clearance plant that I got with the other one last winter. Um, this one is... I believe this one's a hibiscus. Yeah, this is a Bali hibiscus. It will be, I don't know when it's supposed to. I think it's also a summer bloomer, but um, the leaves are beautiful. Okay, over here, I have some more bulbs sprinkled everywhere. Um, I This is a, um, one of the giant Christophiae's um, coming into bloom. And I think I have some of the little white ones in the back there. Somewhere there. Okay, we're almost at the end of this L-shaped flower bed. I've got my, two, my three hookahs, which are doing exceptionally well this year. Absolutely amazing. This is, I think, Coral Bell. I'm not 100% sure. The tags are no longer there. This one is in blue. It's beautiful. Look at the color. It's so 
so beautiful. And then these purple ones, dark ones here, are just, just huge. They're also coming into bloom, as you can see. These really, really grew once spring came around. Oh my goodness, did they grow. They're huge. And then over here, I honestly don't even know what's here. My mom said that this is a orchid. I have no clue. Uh, she planted this, I think, last winter in here in ground. I have no clue. I don't even know if there are orchids that can grow in this zone. But yeah. Okay. So that is my border garden. I feel like it's still a baby garden. It's still very new. Yeah. So let me take you guys to the front. So this front area here by the gate. Over here I have a vinca. This is a variegated vinca. It is always thirsty. But it's such a pretty trailing plant. And then down here I have two of my peonies that came back from last uh, last growing season last year and they're just about to open up here i have two of them i i have them planted in pots but i might put them in ground not this year maybe next year i have one that's fully opened it's beautiful to be honest i was actually really shocked that it even came back i chopped them back all the way all the way back to nothing not expecting them to come back on because I didn't know what I was doing but they did come back they're beautiful I don't know what type of peony sorry here I have more of those sea thrips or marians um they're so cute so these are the spent blooms there and these are the fresh blooms They're really interesting because their foliage looks like grass. And then I have a creeping phlox on the side here. The creeping phlox, um, the blooms are gone now, but they're actually lavender colored blooms. They're really pretty. And then over here I have these. Oh my god, I fell in love with the color of them. And I don't remember the name. And I don't think I kept the tag. So if any of you know what this plant is, let me know. These are perennials. Um, I have a bigger pot of them here. Look at them. They're so pretty. Do I have a tag? Oh no, I don't think I kept the tag, you guys. Yeah, I didn't keep the tag, but there are so many new blooms coming up. But my favorite over here is this. This is my, oh my God, what is this called? Munstead lavender, which I think is also known as English lavender. Just look at how freaking gorgeous these blooms are. I love how whimsical they look. They look really dainty. Anyways, yeah, so that is all the plants I have um, in my outdoor garden here in my backyard. <laughs> I hope you guys enjoyed that.